Maybe it makes you sound better. All going right to China. Will yeah. the producer tell me to suck in my gut too? <laughs> Psych me out. Welcome to Cutting Corners with Jim and Jake. Today, we're gonna to be talking about lead times. Yeah, so, how we calculate how long it's gonna take for us to produce a part and get it to your door. Yeah, so we're talking about production days once you order it, right? I think the best way to start this is talking about when you order your parts, it goes to our design for manufacturing team, right? So they're gonna be looking at it, making sure that those parts are manufacturable. The best way to have that be quick is to follow our guidelines, right? Yeah, we call it garbage in, garbage out, right? If you send us a crazy napkin sketch, that's gonna to add to lead time. If you send us something that perfectly matches with our guidelines and uh, all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted, it's gonna flow through the system much, much faster. Yeah. So yeah, check out the guidelines first. Yeah, totally. I mean, so if you're installing hardware, for example, if this hardware is too close to the edge, so we can look at it in this camera here, uh, what ends up happening is, is that we have to reach back out to you we're gonna tell you that we gotta change that drawing. It's gonna obviously add some production days to your overall initial estimate that we gave you on the website. Yep. Um, so make sure we have very good guidelines. We also have lots of blogs and stuff that help kind of, if you're new to designing parts, kind of guide you in the right direction. The, the magic of our service is we're not gonna say no. We're gonna give you feedback. Yep. So instead of just saying like, no, we can't make it, we're gonna say, hey, due to manufacturing limitations, can you move this a little bit or can you make this flange a little bit longer? We'll give you as much feedback as we possibly can, but it adds time. And the focus of this video is how can I get it as fast as possible? Totally. So the next thing is, is geometry, right? So the more complicated your geometry, the more cutting time that we have. Yeah, it's machine so, time. Machine you know, time is a big factor in our calculations. Parts like this right here, I believe this is a Kuhnhausen part. Kuhn, yeah, right? Kyle Kuhnhausen. So shout out to Kyle Kuhnhausen. More um, than this. Yeah, this has a lot more cutting time involved in this one. And as you go up in the amount of parts that you have, we have to take in consideration how much cut time is there and that can affect your overall lead time. If you send us a dragonfly wing, exactly. that will have a longer lead time than just an oval or whatever, because it's got to sit on the machine for that much longer. But we calculate that all in real time and you'll see it you know, uh, at the bottom of our app. As you're building your cart, you'll see that that estimated production time change. And that's actually a good indicator of, you know, if you need something really fast, watch that box there, see what you, your, what step you did. And if you need it faster, you know, yep. back up a step um, and then maybe place a different order or something like that. Yep. And it, when you reorder a part, and I'm gonna, we're kind of skipping ahead a little bit, yep. but one way to kind of cheat the system a little bit is that if you want to place a 10,000 part order, but you're a little bit worried about the lead time, Sometimes what you can do is you can place one part order with um, essentially to get it to your door. You can do your prototyping. Yep. The next time you place that order, it doesn't go through our DFM team if it's exactly what you ordered before. Yep. You can change that quantity. Everything's going to be fine. And you can skip days off of that production process. Yeah, it means that we've, we've seen your part. We know it's good. Uh, it's greenlit in the system. So basically it just goes right back into production really quickly. We use a mix of uh, human intelligence, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Uh, but the first time we ever see a part, we always make sure that our team is looking at it just to make sure that it's not gonna, you know, fail during production. So uh, yeah. once it's produced once, we're, we're good to go. Yeah. Uh, quantity. But, yeah, additionally, so quantity, if you do want 10,000 parts, sometimes what we can do with you and you can work directly with our sales team, we have an amazing sales team, shout out to Bryce, Yeah. right? So. Bryce and his sales team do a really good job of working with our customers to break up those orders. Maybe we can do releases of a thousand at a yeah. much quicker pace than doing a 10,000 part job at one time. Yeah, we call it a, a blanket PO or a blanket purchase order. So if, if you need 10,000 units, it might be better for us to send you a thousand units a week, you know, over 10 weeks versus waiting a few weeks to get all 10,000 at the same time. Uh, work with our sales team, we're, we're happy. We do that all the time. Yeah. Okay, so we talked about that. And we actually take care of a lot of order splitting and stuff on your guys' behalf. So we'll break yep. things up to make it so that our production is faster. It helps us and it helps our customers, right? Yep. So when we do break those up and stuff, you will be contacted and stuff. But yeah, we do our best to Good try job. to get things through. I Good know, job talking to the camera one. too. Yeah. Um, order splitting too, you can do it manually. Let's say you need 10,000 units, uh, mm -hmm. but you need 50 of them really fast. 
feel free to place two orders or work with our sales team and say, hey, get me 50 really fast. And, and the other 9,950 can come later. You know? Yep. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's talk about add-ons. Yeah, so add-ons obviously are, what's up, Sarah? Producer. Sure. Yes. Okay, so we have a base lead time, usually of about two days. So that gives us time to program the part, nest it with a bunch of other customers' parts for yeah. material efficiency to keep our prices down. That's usually about two days. So something that is just cut and ship, it's about two days. So should I use this one because this is the example that I'm going to use. Yeah. Uh, so about two days. But as you go up in quantity, yep. you know, once you start to hit about 500 units, you're going to start to see your lead time go up. And again, it's all based on machine time. If I can cut them, you know, if I can cut a thousand of them in two minutes, you're not going to see any additional lead time. Yep. But if something like this, you know, if they're going to go up, like say 500 units, you're going to add, you know, in addition to that base lead time, another three to four days yep. just to give us some cushion. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, up to a thousand, you might be looking at, you know, four to seven additional days. If you add 20,000, uh, sometimes we'll go up to, you know, 18, 19 days of cushion. Usually we beat that, but we just want to make sure we set expectation for you guys. Yeah. A lot of times is that you're, we're scheduling that job in with hundreds and hundreds of other jobs during that day, right? And so that gives us a little bit of cushion to figure out how to get your job in and meet your lead time. So it's all about us setting realistic expectations yeah. to our customers as well, right? There's also material considerations. So for something that's a really popular material, like this is HRPO, we stock uh, dozens of tons of this, maybe yeah. hundreds of tons at any given point. Uh, we're never gonna run out. But if it's something that's a little more rare, uh, grade five titanium, we're not gonna have tons of that available. So if you order yep. 10,000 units in titanium, it may take us a little bit to, to get that stock in. So again, work with our support team, work with our sales team. We're happy to give you what we can uh, and you know keep your production flowing while we're producing at the same time. Yeah. Sarah, can we talk about add-ons now? Yeah. Materials is next. Okay. Throwing us off. You told us to go in order. We're, we're going to talk to talk about add-ons now. Yeah. Add-ons okay. add lead time. So like what Jim just said, right? Base lead time for cutting and stuff, especially on a single part, it's going to be two. As you start adding secondary operations like bending, dimple, hardware installation, we're going to start adding on more days to your part because we have to go through more sub processes and schedule it in with all the other work, right? Yes. So let's. We have a, a bunch of examples. I don't know if you want to pick a specific one there, Jim. Yeah, that's a super simple one. Yeah, let's do this it's one just right here. Cut and bend. So two days base for cutting, we add an additional uh, day for bending. So again, if it's a single part or 10 units or whatever, we're not always gonna need that whole additional other day, but we put it in there to set expectations. You know, we, we definitely wanna be early versus late. Yeah, so I have one right here. This one's anodized, bent, and has hardware. It's a single part, we have the two day base, five days for our anodizing process, yep. an additional one for our hardware. And that's actually in the order in which we'll do them, right? So with the so total, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna allow eight days to yep. produce this part and then ship it to you, um, and then in quantity it all starts to compound. So it's cumulative. Yes. You know, uh, but we do run an algorithm where, as things start to add up, it's not one plus one plus one equals three. Sometimes nope. it's one plus one equals two. Yep. Sometimes it's one plus one plus one plus one equals one. Uh, again, oh. refer to the estimate that we're giving you in your yeah. card. Yeah. And it, when you end up seeing those and stuff, we can work with you in sales and stuff. If we get into that 10,000 piece order, yeah. again, if you do have a lot of these other ones and it starts compounding, um, what you're gonna end up probably getting reached out to by support, sales, yeah. we're gonna talk to you we'll about you trying to up. find a balance and stuff with your what your expectations are and what you need as a customer to meet your, your, your deadlines. Yeah, and I, I just wanted to say too, we started out this business six years ago as a resource for hobbyists and prototypers. Um, but today, the business looks wildly different. We produce a lot for OEMs. Um, we're doing hundreds of thousands of parts for individual clients now. Um, so we worked out a lot of the kinks, especially in yep. the last two, three years. Yep. Um, so it's, it's built in, we're ready to go. Every single order is unique though. And so that's why we have uh, such an amazing support and sales team to, yep. to help you with the tweaks.
And none of this stuff is fixed, right? So we're constantly working on yep. production improvements to gain speed. It's that dynamic. Speed, Do we have dynamic yeah, that on speed here? is very, very dynamic, right? So what we're saying today might be obsolete here in like two weeks. What we're, what we're doing is as we find these process improvements and stuff, it not only increases our speed, but it also increases our prices, right? So we can drop our prices, no, we can increase- Decreases our, prices. Decreases prices, sorry. Increase speed, prices down. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what ends up happening is that we can pass that on to you guys, right? So um, always, as Jim said, that estimated shift in the cart is the best way to see what our current pricing is because yep. that's following our current algorithm. Yeah, oh, let's summarize. Um, yep. So like per add-on. Bending usually adds a day. Hardware usually adds a day. Uh, plating is gonna add five days. Anodizing is gonna add five days. Powder coating is gonna add five days. Yep. Those are labor intensive processes, so we wanna add that buffer. Yeah. Uh, One well, last thing that adds some days is that when you have multiple materials. So if we have, say, three, four materials that are all part of your order, that's us denesting your guys' parts. Yeah, we're denesting so. right now, sorry. So. If, the, if I have three different materials, four different materials in my order, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to find a balance and scheduling with four different materials to get your order out yep. the door. So we typically add a day to that just to give us a little bit of cushion and set a realistic expectation. Yeah, even though we have 12 fiber lasers you know, in the system, uh, we can't cut every material all at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, so. Yep, cool. Okay, what else? Uh, oh, so now we'll do some material. Now we're gonna talk, talk about materials. materials, Sarah. Yeah. So. Thickness. Yeah, so thickness. That's obviously, machine time. Yeah, so a very thin stainless versus a thicker, you know, a thicker material this has a different cutting speed. Yeah, right. We're gonna cut, what, I don't know, 1900 inches a minute or something like this in yeah. a really thin G90. Yeah, but versus, when we go to half inch, you know, steel. Yeah, we're, we gotta slow down to maybe 100 inches a minute, something like that. So again, we're calculating, okay, we have 3000 inches to cut, 3000 times 100 inches per minute equals yep. some number of hours. If there's X amount of hours of capacity available in the day um, and, we, and we don't have it, we'll add a day of lead time. So exactly. anyway, we're doing it all on the, on the fly. Yeah. Uh, thickness, oh, how about like water jet? Water like, jet. Different materials. So too. different materials have different cutting, pro yeah, different cutting processes. This is our route, a router material. So this is one of our plastic materials that we cut on the router. That router. That's ABS, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, so that ABS material and stuff not only has a different denesting process, but it also has a different like cutting process, right? Yeah. So with that, we also have those speeds and stuff that we're doing in the algorithm is machine dependent, it's right? Slower it's, equipment too. Mm -hmm. uh, our water jet and router does not go nearly as fast as our fiber lasers. You know, yeah. I, I've seen our water jet cut at two inches a minute. Yeah. Uh, it's painfully slow sometimes. So again, machine time takes time. Uh, Non-metals are usually gonna be slower than our, our metals. Yeah. Uh, number of materials. Okay, let's talk about transit. Yeah, so transit is after we get done with production, right? So once we get done with production, then we have different transit options, right? So if your order is really heavy, we might have to go with the freight option. Yep. It's gonna extend the in-hand date that you're gonna have. So we wanna take that into consideration as well as we do have overnight options, right? So we have yep. different shipping options that you can do in your yeah. checkout. After production, after everything is produced, mm -hmm. as you're checking out, if your order is eligible, you'll be able to upgrade to overnight shipping. And we subsidize a lot of it. It's usually pretty in inexpensive. We get great rates with FedEx. Um, and then, yeah, freight is gonna usually be one to four days, depending on where you're at in the country. We ship from Reno, Nevada and Paris, Kentucky right now. Number three is coming soon, so we're gonna shave that, that transit time down to about two days even with freight. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how to how to kind of cheat the system. We talked about this a little bit. Yeah. How to go even faster. Yeah, I touched on it a little bit earlier and stuff. Yep. But yeah, breaking up your order initially, right? So if you know you need 50 parts right now, but you need 10,000 parts over the next month, yeah. um, a great way to do that is just to break them up and order them in two separate orders. Yeah. You're gonna get the two different lead times. You'll get your parts when you expect it. It's always end. free shipping. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, you, you could order 10 orders a day if you want, and we're not gonna charge you shipping 10 times. Yep. And um, then, oh, addi oh. Additionally, if you have a lot of different, if you have one part that has six add-ons. line items too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sorry, I was getting ahead of you Go, there. No, send it. Um, yeah, so breaking up line items. So if I have a part that has, you know, all of these different add-ons, anodizing, the hardware installation, the bending, I have seven days, but I also have some cut and ship parts. If you break these apart, you'll get your cut and ship 
when it would have had a lead time versus this one, right? So if yeah. you need one before the other, you can break apart your line items. Yeah, just split it up, do two orders. Um, if it's some kind of massive complex thing, hit up support, we'll help you out. Yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, yeah, best way to test it, just start building the cart. Oh, producer Sarah, yes. What? I can't hear her. She's yeah. saying shipping to Canada. Yes, we ship to Canada. Oh, we ship to Canada. Oh, yeah, uh, Canada. So Canada, we're still shipping air. Uh, occasionally, we'll do ground through Canada, but nine times out of 10, it's air. Uh, and we have some special agreements with customs where normally it'll fly right through. Sometimes customs will hang on to it for a day or two. So we handle all of the VAT, all of the customs, yep. everything, it goes right to your door. There's no freight forwarder or anything. Yep. Uh, took us a year and a half to figure out this system. Coming soon to the EU, UK, yeah. Australia. Yep, uh, we're working on it. But yeah, if you guys want, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sidebar. If you want us to ship to the EU and Canada and Australia faster, uh, lobby your parliament or whatever you guys have yeah and have them figure out their vat across like 15 different countries and states and townships or whatever it's yeah. pain in the butt sorry a little rant from Jim sorry right okay there. i'm done rant. <laughs> rant over yeah uh anyway that is a rough overview of how we calculate lead times so yep. that you can figure out how to get your parts to you as fast as possible if you have any questions hit us up in the comments yeah yeah thanks love, love you. you bye